All right, guys, this is T45 production version, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, crack it open and let you guys see what it is. I'll bring out most of the stuff and put it on the table, and then I'll take a closer video of all the little components on the inside. Um, plenty of packing going around. Wing spar, an elevator spar. Here is the left wing. Uh, it's nice to left the flat covers off so you can see uh, what they look like underneath. Basically, two, uh, I believe they're 17 gram servos. They might have upgraded to 25 gram. I gotta double check, but at least they're set, at least of the 17 gram Metal Gear servos. So that was the left wing. Here is the right wing, same thing. There's the slab servos, basically they come down. There you go. Um, Metal Gear retracts, Metal Gear servos, and nice beefy bigger wheels than the prototype last time. I believe these are 70 millimeter wheels. I can double check them later on and let you guys know uh, what a specific size they are. Vortex generators on the wing, like the real one. Get rid of some more foam. Lots of foam. Have the canopy, cockpit, just a basic canopy. It has a little bit of detail in there. It does have uh, some instrument uh, panels, but it's basically a decal. The forward canopy does have uh, a little mini HUD in there. Uh, just a simulated HUD or a heads up display. It's all black. There's no crisp, no decal on it or anything, uh, no glass on there. Moving down, we have the two elevators. Here's the elevator at the top, the bottom, you can tell because the actual uh, bolts, where the bolts go to fasten down to the fuselage, the rod, uh, the holes are in the bottom, so that would be the bottom there. That's one, here's the second one. Let me kind of move those out of the way a little bit. Here we have the beautiful nose cone. Um, servo wires coming out, four servos in the front. Uh, you got your steering, which is labeled rudder. LED light, the landing gear, the actual retract, and the landing gear door. Um, there is actually four doors in the forward, in the nose here. I don't want to try to pull it up too much right now without the servo. There's two doors there, and then there's another two doors here, plus the, the scale uh, strut that comes down uh, from there. We have a vertical fan. Tiger stripes, same as the last one. The rudder is a plug-in type. The servo is already inside the actual uh, fuselage, and this will just snap down into the rudder. 
excuse me, to the vertical um, part of the fuse rod there. I don't want to drop it there. It's getting running out of real estate on this bench. This airplane is pretty big. We got more packages. Now, here's where everything's going to be at. All your little baggies with, for all your servo connectors are already on there. Uh, each bag is labeled and separated. Um, some scale details, some covers for the landing gear for the retracks. Uh, I got two blisters on here and looks like two fins. I got to check and see what those are for. Back to the hardware package. So in your hardware package, when you open it up, each little bag is separated. For example, you can tell this one's for the nose. It has no um, no label on this one, but the four inch bolts is what you uh, use to connect the nose to the, to the fuselage. Uh, the other little bags that are in here, those are labeled. And for example, this is to connect your ailerons, your aileron rod. You need two ball lengths of each end. This is for your flaps, same thing, just a uh, rod with a ball length at the end. Um, the pillow tube for the nose. And I don't know what this metal piece is yet. I'll look it up. It's an aluminum piece. Looks, looks like probably an extension to the pillow tube. I'm not 100% sure, but I will find out. The covers for both of the wings for the slat servos. Your tail hook assembly. This will basically go get connected to the bottom of the fuselage and the rear. Um, there's a slot in the back of the fuselage for this and you just glue it on there. Nice detailed hook. Um, there is no way to make it functional yet. I mean, if you wanted to, you bet you could, but out right out the factory, no, there is no functioning tail hook. And that leaves us with a big package, the fuselage. We have here a massive fuselage. I'm gonna get some of the plastic out of it. massive size of this jet. Um, engine hatch with an LED on top of it just like the last time. Here's the connectors for the LED. Inside the fuselage you see uh, as usual the quick connector for the for the wing. Your landing gear doors already installed on both sides. You can see the servo there inside the fuselage there. Um, you got your two main fuel tanks in there and all your all your wiring is already there for the, for your uh, all your servos and receiver. The receiver is not included but all the wiring is already there. So is your UAT. All the cables are labeled. Let me get this uh, box out of the way and I'll get you guys a closer look. Um, you can see the AG63 is already installed in here. So let me get the box out of the way and then I'll give you guys a better look. All right. Now back inside the fuselage here, the nose section, you have your dual input for your batteries for the receiver. There's uh, two 3S batteries that get connected in there for, um, for the receiver. 
Here's the, the UAP is below the, the line there, the, the, the tank, the main plate. The AG63 is already installed. There's two main gas tanks, 45 ounce main gas tanks already in there, uh, installed for you. There's your LED at the top. Here's the engine compartment. Um, and basically it's made for like an 80 class or 80 Newton turbine on here. Um, here's the view from the rear for the two main 45 ounce tanks. The connector for your rudder. The connector for your elevator. In both elevators would just connect in here like so. This, is, this would be the one on the left hand side just because the screws would need to be on the bottom. Um, this is your elevator neutral spot right here. There's an uh, airfoil shaped um, line there. Scribe part of a basically what the elevator would look like. This that would be your elevator neutral point right there. This cover is also where the uh, elevator servo is at. Um, here is your nose section with the wire leads coming out for all your uh, connections there for the rudder and all your landing gear doors, the four in the nose, plus the one for the uh, the strut. Uh, on the actual wings, let me get the canopy out of the way there. There's your aileron servos with the big metal servo horn. Here is your flap servo. And there's your metal gear retract and your big wheels, 70 millimeter inch, uh, 70 millimeter uh, wheels, main wheels. Um, as I showed you earlier, I don't know if you got to see, the top contains your two slat servos. The covers are part of your accessories pack that you got in there. And let me, uh, There you go, there's the slat extended. Here is your main landing gear doors. There's that one right there, the wing connector. And here is the slot for the ventral fin with your um, tail hook. There is your speed brakes, in case I didn't mention those before. The two working speed brakes. And the connector for the LED that it is and the cover, the hatch cover right there. All right guys, since I didn't know what the third uh, wire was for, this one with the blue and red, I went ahead and uh, removed the four screws for the main plate. Move the gyro out of the way, the brake gyro. And see if I can get this thing far enough out of there and follow that cable. Ah, so it is the light controller. The light controller has its own battery uh, for power. And this would be your light controller down there at the bottom. It's a, uh, it has no label there. It's just a white controller there. Alright guys, part of the scale details that I was telling you about that I didn't know what they were, um, there's actually two scoops that go in the top of the fuselage, one here and one on the other side. This is part of the scale details that are here listed. You can see the ASX80 installed in here. Uh, the screw holes line up perfectly. Those were already pre-drilled for this engine at the factory and the engine looks tiny in there, in the big uh, engine compartment. That's it for now, you guys have a good one.